Hello everybody, I am Nitin Shinde and today I will give you an introduction to the basics of Caliban Micro. Caliban Micro is one of the many frameworks available for Silverlight, WPF and Windows Phone 7 developers. It enables developers to build MVVM applications in a more easy, developer-friendly and intuitive manner. In this talk, I will give you a brief history about the evolution of Caliban Micro. Then, I'll start off with an introduction to the concepts in Caliban Micro and will then move on to the key pillars of this framework which will be used whenever we use Caliban Micro to build a line of business application. Then I will discuss the life cycle of a Caliban Micro application and will wind up by showing you a small demo application. In order to gain maximum mileage out of this talk, knowledge of MVVM is necessary. You can also take a look at the introduction to MVVM talk to get a better idea about this pattern. Moreover, knowledge of dependency injection containers such as Unity would be an added advantage. Let us now take a look at the brief history of this framework. Caliban Micro is based on the Caliban framework created by Rob Eisenberg. In fact, Caliban Micro grew from Rob's mixed 2010 talk titled Build Your Own MVVM Framework. You can watch this video at the mentioned URL and you'll get a complete picture about how this framework grew into its current state. You'll also get an idea about the internal workings of this framework. Today, Caliban Micro is the main development framework and Caliban is suggested only if we stumble upon some edge case not covered in Caliban Micro. Let us now take a look at what Caliban Micro is. Caliban Micro is one 50k assembly that builds for WPF4, Civil Light 4 and Windows Phone 7. It has a single dependency on the system.windows.interactivity DLL. This DLL is used to create behaviors within our application. In fact, if we are looking at building applications that target the 3.5 framework, then Caliban Micro would not fit in and we would have to go to its predecessor or its parent Caliban framework. Both Caliban and Caliban Micro are frameworks that simplify usage of various UI design patterns. It also provides a mechanism to plug in any dependency injection container. So both Caliban and Caliban Micro can be configured to be used alongside Unity, Castle Windsor or even MEF. By eliminating the concept of commands and keeping the view model clean, Caliban Micro advocates test-driven development. It also prefers a view model first approach, wherein a view model is created before a view. This ensures that there is minimum linkage between the view and the view model. Let us now take a look at the most noted features of this framework. We have action messages, action and binding conventions, screens and conductors, event aggregator, coroutines and bootstrapper. In this talk, I will be concentrating more on the key pillars of this framework which is action and binding conventions or conventions or configurations as it is called and then I will look into the bootstrapper and then I will take you on a small tour of screens and conductors. Before we dive into these key pillars, let us take a look at the other features and I'll give you a small sneak peek into each of them. The first feature that we have here is actions and messages. Caliban Micro provides a messaging mechanism that enables binding to UI triggers such as a buttons, click event, a list box, item selected event, etc. For those of you who are used to building MVVM applications using other frameworks such as Prism or MVVM Lite, you might be introduced to concepts such as a delegate command or a relay, or a relay command. Such concepts work very well when we look at interacting with UI elements that derive from the I command source interface. But in case we want to use the same concept with a list box item selected event or a menus menu open event or menu closed event it becomes a lot more complicated then we have to write our own custom behaviors and attach behaviors for this 
Caliban Micro eliminates this whole concept and brings in its own idea of actions and messages. Then we have a feature called as an event aggregator. Caliban Micro provides its own implementation of the publisher subscriber model. Here a publisher will publish a message and it is broadcasted to all its subscribers. Yet another feature in Caliban Micro is what is known as coroutines. Here Caliban Micro provides its own approach of handling asynchronous programming. All these three concepts will be covered in future videos released by our team. Now let us take a look at the key pillars of Caliban Micro. The first key pillar that I will be looking at is conventions over configurations. The basic philosophy of convention over configuration is to do more with very little work. This feature is used extensively in Caliban Micro for view discovery, data binding, actions, etc. This in turn ensures a relatively clean view model with all the plumbing tasks being done by the framework. But the real beauty of convention over configuration is that it escapes the common man's eye very easily. So here are a few examples where conventions over configurations is used within Caliban Micro. The first example I will look at is that of eliminating the need for having command properties on the view model. As I explained earlier, we have a concept such as actions and messages. But at times we don't even need such a concept because Caliban Micro has already established certain conventions for us. Let's take a look at our demo application to see how we have used this idea of of conventions over configurations to eliminate usage of commands in the view model. Within the shell view of our application, we have two hyperlink buttons, a view all customers button and an add new customer button. If we were not using a framework like Caliban or Caliban Micro,